Hi everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my tutorial channel. It's Danielle here and today we are going to talk about binomial pricing models. Uh, in this video, I'm going to mention the no arbitrary, the rich neutral approach, and a one period um, binomial model. The targets of this lesson are first, understand the concept of no arbitrates when comparing the actual and synthetic cause and put. Uh, the second target is to understand the concepts underlying the rich neutral approach to evaluating the degree of securities in the context of the binomial option pricing model. So first, let's get started with the concept of no arbitrage. Uh, let's consider an example. Consider a default free zero coupon that pays $1,100 uh, after one year. Suppose that the annual effective risk-free interest rate is 10% and the market price of the bond is $1,000.04. So here we have an observation that if we use the first information to calculate the price of the bond, we got 1100 divided by 1.1 is 1000 which is different from 1004 and if we use B to calculate the annual effective risk free interest rate we have a different number than 10% so there is an inconsistency here that either the risk free interest rate is too high or the bond is mispriced because if you use A to calculate the bond price, you got the bond price should be a thousand, but the price was marked at a thousand dollars and four cents, which is a little bit different from a thousand. And similarly, if you use B to calculate the risk free interest rate, you got 9.9%, which is different from 10%. So either the risk free interest rate is high or the bond was misbride and of course this inconsistent contradicts with the law that is in an efficient market all identical goods must have only one price so to get rid of this contradiction we will have to construct an arbitrary opportunity to earn risk-free profit and that risk-free profit strategy is called buy low and sell high so let's consider uh, buy low and sell high so here suppose that at time zero we buy a bond we buy a thousand dollars a risk-free bond so the cost of time zero is a thousand dollars because that's the price of the bond and the, pay, the payoff at time H using the interest rate 10% is 1100 Now at time um, 0, at the same time at same time 0, you also sell a bond. You sell a bond and of course at that time, um, the bond is priced $1,004. And the payoff at time H is 1100 So the RE gate here at time 0 is negative 0.4 dollars. And at time H, the two terms are canceled out. So that means we, by doing this strategy, we earn 4 cents at time 0. Um, and in order to scale up the profit, to earn more profits, we basically just scale up all the transaction. For example, at time zero, instead of investing only a thousand dollars a risk-free bond, we can uh, invest, let's say, hundred million dollars, for example, to scale up the benefit. And when everybody is doing this. The remarkably high demand for lending and selling pressure would force the interest rate to go down and the price to drop until the riskless profits disappears. So you see, one more lesson we learn here is like no matter how good a strategy is, 
when there are so many, so many people follow the strategy, the benefits is automatically canceled out. Which means followers can never be leaders. All right, next, a one pierce binomial tree. Consider a binomial model for a stock with page dividends continuously at rate delta. At time zero, the price of the stock is S0. At time H, the price of the stock is SH. And this price can be either higher than S0 or lower than S0. Uh, if it's higher than S0, we can use a, a multiple U. So we got the price at time H is S0 time U where u is greater than 1. Or the price at time x can be lower than the initial price. So we can use a multiple d less than 1 to express the price at time h. So sh is equal to s naught time d. The continuously compounded risk-free interest rates are at time h, the payoff of a derivative is either CU or CD, depending on the state of the stock, that means if the price at time H of the stock is greater than the initial price, then we use CU, otherwise we use CD. So here we have two possibilities. At time zero, the initial price is S0, C0, and there are two possibilities, either the price goes up, or the price goes down. So that's why we uh, form a binomial tree model. Um, if the price go up, then the price of the stock at time H should be S not time U. And the price, um, the payoff is CU. If the stock price goes down, then at time H, we will have the price of the stock is S0 times D, and the payoff of the derivative is CD. And this diagram is called a binomial tree diagram. And the question here is, we see here there are two possibilities. So the question is how to price the derivative. And the answer is we are going to use replication. Replication. We replicate the cash flow from the derivative by forming a replicating portfolio using underlying stock and risk-free bond. It's similar like um, uh, the lower of large number. When you flip the cone one time, you cannot predict whether the cone lands head or tail. But if you replicate it, if you repeat it, repeat talks, um, talks in the, the con, let's say a large number of times, like 10,000, uh, 50,000, then the portion of the times that the con laying head should be uh, the actual probability of laying head. So here are the same things. In order to prior the drift, we have to use replication. So we replicate a cash flow from the rip by forming a replicating portfolio using underlying stock and risk-free bond. So let's consider replication. Uh, let's consider the strategy below. We invest delta number of shares in stock and B dollars in risk-free bond at time zero. And then we reinvest all the dividends of the stock by buying additional shares. This gives delta time E to the delta H shares at time H. The value at time H of the above portfolio is delta E to the delta H times SH plus B times E to the RH. And the price here can be uh, calculated by either uh, the increasing model or decreasing model. Uh, so if, if the stock price at time H is greater than the initial price, we use the first case, delta e to the delta h s not u plus b e to the r h is equal to c u because s h here is equal to s not time u, 
and of course u is greater than one and in case that the stock price go down sh is equal to s naught times d where d is a constant less than one then we have the equation delta times e to the delta h times s naught times d plus b times e to the rh is equal to cd so now we have a system of two equations and what we are interested in here is how to calculate delta and b in order to construct the portfolio and it's, uh, it's a little complicated but it's actually just a system of linear equation of two variables delta and b so by by solving the system of linear equation of two variables we got delta is equal to e to the minus delta h time with the ratio of cu minus cd over s naught time u minus d and b is e to the minus rh times the ratio u times cd minus d times cu over u minus d and using delta and b that we have uh, found out we substitute them back into the equation in order to uh, price the option so the option pricing formula based on one period uh, binomial tree here is c naught times delta s naught plus b and uh, just as a two delta and b in we got e to the minus rh time with a brindisi in the brindisi we have two terms the first term is e to the r minus delta times h minus d over u minus d times cu and the second term is u minus e to the r minus delta times h the whole thing over u minus d then times cd however you don't have to memorize this complicated formulas all you need to memorize is just c naught is equal to delta times s naught plus b because you would have to calculate delta and b then just plug it in we don't need to memorize this complicated formula all right so uh, now we are going to use arbitrage for the misprice option now the question is what if the price of an option is not the same with the price by using the formula above of course the answer is arbitrage opportunity that means by low so high so there are two possibilities here either uh, the price of the replicating portfolio is greater than uh, the um, the price of an option or the price of the replicating portfolio is lower so in case that an option is overpriced then we sell the option and buy the replicating portfolio otherwise in case that an option is underpriced we buy the option and sell the replicating portfolio so it's really simple for arbitrage it's just buy low sell high example for a non-dividend paying stock you are given the current stock price is hundred dollars at the end of one month the stock price can be either 104 or 96 uh, the continuous risk free interest rate is 0.02 or 2 percent consider a one month 102 dry European car on a stock a contract a replicating portfolio for the car option b calculate the time zero price of the car option so let's consider the solution here uh, you see that the price at the end of one month can be either 104 or 96 104 represent with the price associated with u and 96 is the price that is associated with d right so u here is 104 over 100 which is 1.04 greater than 1 d is 96 over 100 which is 0.96 less than 1 so the payoff here is for cu we take the price subtract the current stock price which is uh, 104 subtract 102 then uh, take the maximum between this value and 0 so of course cu is 2 now for CD, 
we take the try 96 subtract the uh, we take 96 subtract the try 102 and take the maximum value between it and 0 we got 0 is CD now we use these information to calculate delta and B in order to um, construct um, the replic uh, replicating portfolio. Delta here is e to the minus delta h times cu minus cd over s naught times u minus d. Here delta is zero. So e to the zero is just one. So the first term right here with the exponent is one. Cu is two, cd is zero, s zero is hundred. U minus D is 1.4 subtract 0.96, so delta is 0.25. And B is E to the minus uh, 0.02 over 12. Time with 1.04 times 0 minus 0.96 times 2 over 1.04 minus 0.96 using the formula of B. We got negative 23.96. So the replicating portfolio consists of 0.25 purchase shares and 23.96 borrow at time zero at the risk-free rate. So the time zero price of the call option here is delta S naught plus B. So it should be 0.25 times 100 minus 23.96, which is 1.04. So that's how we uh, arbitrate a misprice option. All right, now, rich neutral probabilities. The rich neutral Bryson formula based on a one pierce binomial tree is C0 is equal to e, minus, e to the minus RH times B star times CU plus 1 minus B star times CD, where B star here is called the rich neutral uh, probability of an increase of the stock price. And B star is calculated by the formula E to the R minus delta times H, then subtract D, the whole thing, divided by um, the gap between U and D. The expectation here uh, of the stock price should be E star HH is equal to B star times S not U plus 1 minus B star times S not D which is equal to S naught times E to the R minus delta H. And the procedure to illustrate the risk neutral pricing formula is first calculate the risk neutral probability B star. Step two, calculate the expected payoff E star of HH. Then step three, discount the expected payoff with the risk free interest rate. So let's consider this example. Consider the following one pierce binomial stock price model for a non dividend paying stock. You are given the pierce is one year. The continuously compounded risk free interest rate is 0.02. Consider a one year 100 try European call on a stock. Price the call option by considering the risk neutral pricing model. Um, so here, before we price the call option, we need to calculate the risk neutral probability. And in order to calculate the risk neutral probability, we need to calculate CU, CD, um, UD, uh, Delta, H. So let's find all of these information. U here, we take the high price divided by 100. We got 105 over 100, which is 1.05. D, we take the lower price divided by 100. We got 95 over 100 is 0 0.95. R here is the risk-free interest rate, which is given as 0 0.02. Delta is 0. Uh, H is 1 because the period is 1 year. Um, remember, delta is equal to 0 because this is non-dividend. Uh, delta is the rate that uh, the dividend is paid. But here, there is no dividend, so delta should be 0. CU is... 5 and CD is 0 because for CU we take 105 subtract the dry 100 and take maximum value between it and 0 we got 5 for CD we take 95 subtract 100 we got negative 5 then take the maximum value between it 5 and 0 we got 0 
Now we got all the information needed. Uh, go ahead and calculate the risk neutral probability. B store is equal to e to the 0.02 subtract 0 times 1 minus 0.95 uh, and take the whole thing divided by u minus d, which is 1.05 subtract 0.95. So the B store, the probability here should be 0 0.702013. Uh, I write to six uh, decimal places. Now the expectation is B star CU plus 1 minus B star CD. And we got 3.520065. Now the price of the option is C0 is equal to E to the minus 0 0.02 times 1 uh, times 3.51.0065. Uh, which is 3.44. Just follow the formula. Alright, so that is it for today thanks so much for watching and i should want to introduce the textbook that i used to make the lecture here there is the study manual exam IFM from soaf text all right uh, that's it for today thanks and see you next time bye